What's up, what's up, y'all? Um, yo, shout out to my new sub. Um, I'm Tupac back from the dead. Shout out to you, bruh. Um, anyway, next fight I want to talk about for 2023 is Wilder versus Andy Ruiz. Now, this is kind of a hard one to call because since the Tyson Fury fights, we've only seen about a half a round from Wilder. In which he knocked her lineage the fuck out fast. So, I don't know how much improved he is. Okay, I guess he may be training harder, you know. Uh, but how did that translate to performance inside the ring? We won't know until we see how he performs inside the ring. But, so, only thing I can really base this shit off of is his past performances with Tyson Fury being the most recent. So, based off that, let's just say, uh, based off that, based off the last... I would have to say I'm going to give this fight. I would I would go with damn I got a lot of shit in my head. I'll go with Ruiz on this fight. I would have to man because um let's look at Ruiz's attributes right now. He is extremely fast. He has decent. Pretty decent boxing IQ, okay? Um, he's shorter, and in my opinion, I think when a taller opponent is fighting a shorter opponent, I think it's easier, I mean, I think it's harder for the, the taller opponent. Me being a tall guy, I know this from experience, I hate fighting. Somebody, not, not 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 like an inch or two shorter than me, but like like a whole lot shorter than me. It's like they can get inside. It's like they can get up under your shit. And they can avoid your power because, especially with a fighter like De Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder leverages power. Okay, he leverages power. His power is from mid-range to outside, right? I would say really on the outside, if you catch, if he catch you outside coming in with all that power, he's going to drop your ass, man. Um, Deontay Wilder ain't known for the, the little short range inside knockouts. That's not what he do. If you go look at Deontay Wilder's fight, most of his knockouts, he's coming there on the end of his power. Uh... That's where his power come from. It's come from leverage. He goes way back to out there. And he knocks your fucking lights out. Because he comes from Mississippi with it. But as far as like. Uh, a raw. Like really want to. I would say. As far as power and shit. Like. Joshua had a good inside game for a heavyweight. When he throws that uppercut and shit. You know, that uppercut, little quick six-inch uppercut knock you on your ass. I ain't never seen that in a while. So, if Andy Ruiz can come, if he comes in, I still got to say, smother that right. Take that right hand away from Deontay Wilder and what you got. Put him on his back foot. What do you got? You got to win. Especially as quick as Andy Ruiz is, man. And him being the shorter fighter. You know what I'm saying? If he can slip Deontay Wilder's punches, man, step in on his ass and counter him, it's already proven that his jaw ain't really, he's chinny. We're going to put it like that, like they say about Joshua. Wilder's chinny. You know what I'm saying? Wilder, you know, Wilder done been knocked silly many a times. Tyson Fury ain't the first one to do it, and he won't be the last. So, um, yeah, 
Deontay Wilder, he's a very chinny, chinny guy. He's um he's one dimensional. And I'm gonna have to say, say he's still one dimensional because he hadn't showed me anything different yet. We he and, and he really hadn't had the chance, right? Because he's only had that half a round since the uh the Tyson Fury fights. So we still don't know. So I'm basing this off of um what I do know. And his last full fight or or a fight that went long enough for me to really gather, get any collect any data from would be his last fight with Fury. And based off that, I'm gonna go I would have to go with Andy Ruiz because he's not any different. He's not any different. But now with all the time that passed since then, I feel like he had the time to change things. But once again, I had to say now in a real fight, though, once he starts getting hit, will he convert back to the old Deontay order? I can't say old because I hadn't seen a new yet. Will he continue to be the fighter that we know him to be? And um, so, yeah, uh, now, um, of course, Wilder has the height on Ruiz. He has the reach advantage on Ruiz. But um, speed, I don't know if he got the speed advantage or not. But like I say, um, Ruiz, I think counterpunching, would definitely benefit Ruiz, but he got he has to do it from the inside. He got where where Deontay Wilder, where uh, his power, uh, where he takes away the advantage for his his power advantage away from Deontay Wilder. Um, so he got to get inside counter or slip some punches and get an inside counter. And throw uh, heavy combinations, quick combinations. I think he can take that fight. I think he can win that fight, man. So, uh, 2023, I'm going to go for, uh, for 2023, Deontay Wilder, Andy Ruiz. I'm going to have to go with Andy Ruiz in this fight. And, um, yeah, man, that's that's going to be how it goes, man. So, once again, shout out to... Uh, I'm Tupac, back to the dead. Appreciate your comments. Thanks for subbing. We'll catch you on the next one. One. That, that, that. My damn video.